New Twins pitcher Hansel Robles with a 97 mile per hour fastball there. Messing with some timing here with a big delay. And then next up, a quick pitch. And here you can see he's kind of got some hitch in his delivery. Hey, man, whatever you can do with mess with timing, I'm with it. Um, here's a look at his changeup as well. Really nice pitch. A really good looking changeup and a hard changeup. Uh, we're going to get into more on him. I just want to give you some video first. And one more change up here getting Robbie Grossman. Nice. So the Twins signed Robles. He was available at a one-year, $2 million deal uh, because he had a 10.26 ERA for the Angels last year. Um, not, not exciting. Uh, if you look at his more recent history and his career numbers, uh, there's a lot more to be to be liked there. And something I want to point out while we have this up is that this is a guy who has struggled and come back from that in the past. So I think that is something to be uh, optimistic about that. In 2017 here, he had a 4.92 year with the Mets, came out in 2018 and was pitching poorly again and was designated for assignment, ended up with the Angels and gave them a season and a half of really, really good uh, pitching. Uh, was a very was one of the top performers among relief pitchers in in 2019, and just completely fell apart in 2020. Uh, again, let's take a look at that 2019. So I have up here at Fangraphs, this is the 158 qualified relief pitchers from 2019, and as we can see here, uh, Hansel Robles was 2.51 ERA. That was 21st behind Tyler Duffy, a familiar name, and right in front of Taylor Rogers, another familiar name. So it's kind of funny that that worked its way out that way. And then in terms of WHIP, again among those 158 qualified relievers, he was 30th. So. Uh, again, one of the better relief pitchers in baseball in 2019 uh, really fell off, though. Uh, one thing I do want to add to that I found interesting about him was that, like Tyler Clippard, but not nearly to the same degree, um, he actually has some reverse platoon splits. I wonder if that was part of why the Twins targeted him. Because as you can see here, he's given up a he's a, he's a right-handed pitcher. He's given up a 720 OPS against right-handed batters over his career and a 685 OPS against lefties. So that's interesting to make note of. And here we are at his baseball savant page, and I want to make a note of a couple things here. Um, these sliders are just such a nice snapshot. And we, we can see here he still had a good uh, fastball velocity and whiff percentage, but a lot of these other numbers in the blue uh, and in the extreme blue in some cases do not look good at all. But again, if we go back to that 2019, I mean, it's looking hot. If he would have been a free agent last year instead of this year, I mean, he, he would have picked up a pretty nice contract after that performance. So... Uh, kind of picking him up as a bounce back again. That's why he's at available at the price that he was. Two million dollars is. I mean, there's not that many guys that are going to sign major league contracts for less than that uh, this off season. Um, so, def certainly a reclamation project, and he's kind of bounced back from that. A uh, big concern here is that he did have a velocity spike in 2019. Uh, averaging 97.2 miles per hour on his four-seam fastball, and then that dipped last year uh, down to 95.4. Again, still an above-average fastball. However, you know that can certainly be attributed to probably some of his struggles uh, is if his velo is dipping. You can see that across the board with some of his pitches. Uh, something I noticed as well just looking at some of the video is it did not appear to me that he looked at all comfortable throwing his slider last year. Um, and that sort of sort of shows up in his pitch distribution. You can see here uh, he was only throwing the slider 12% of the time last season. In that great 2019 season, he was throwing it 21% of the time. So it was essentially sort of his, you know, he has he has the fastball that he goes to as his primary pitch, and then the changeup and slider were hand in hand. Uh, pitches that he would go to equally in 2019, and that slider just wasn't there in 2020. And although I really like the look of his changeup that we saw from the video, there's a good looking pitch. Um, I think he's going to be a lot more effective if he can have more of that pitch usage uh, that he saw in 2019. And we know the Twins like sliders, if they can get that corrected, if they can get his velocity back up. Um, you know, this is a guy who certainly, I mean, to be worth $2 million, he just has to basically pitch as a, as a league average uh, pitcher, and he'd be well worth that. Uh, but he certainly has some upside in addition uh, if you can get him pointed in the right direction and get that late 2018 and 2019 performance out of him. So Hansel Robles, a guy who's 30 years old, as you see here, 80-grade uh, smile, as you can see there as well. 
<laughs> got to give him some credit for that. Uh, but he's a guy, you know, he's been through, kind of been through a lot in his career, 313 appearances uh, over his career as a 30-year-old already. So, and again, he's kind of re- been on that wave that we see so many relief pitchers uh, up and down and obviously coming off the lowest low of his career thus far. Uh, kind of ironic in a way, I suppose, that his initials are HR because that's such a been such a pain point for him over his career. Uh, when he's not going well, it's it's he's given up a lot of home runs and he's walking too many guys. But uh, again, that 2019 uh, is pretty good looking, and you know that that certainly is what the Twins are are hoping to capture. Um, and again, he saved he saved 23 ball games as well. Uh, for the Angels that year, so you know you're you're not running out to get his jersey. <laughs> you know, this isn't a guy who uh, who's going to really ignite anything. But the Twins do need to add pieces to the bullpen, um, and you know, yeah, hey, well, let's call it like it is. I did a bunch of sort of under the radar free agents and non tender. He was non tender, but the Angels non tender reactions. This isn't a guy who was really on my radar, uh, but you know, at that kind of commitment in the situation the twins are in, I get it. I definitely expect them to make further improvements, but they've had a lot of luck, a lot of luck uh, building bullpens with guys like this. So, um, you know, if they see something that they can work with, I'm certainly interested enough to see where this goes. So again, this has been Tom. Thanks for checking this out. We'll talk again soon.